Ready? Yep. Oh my god! Today I'm here with Antoine and I'm super excited to be checking out his 2021 Tesla Model S Plaid. So how does this compare to the normal Model S you see a lot of? Usually the normal Model S's, uh, they don't have a body kit. Uh, this has a wide, kind of a wide body kit to it. This also has a third motor versus the regular Model S's have two motors, one in the front and one in the rear. Okay. The Plaid has one in the front, two in the rear. So with the Plaid, I know it's all electric, but for like horsepower figures, how much power does it have? Plaids have 1,024 horsepower and about 1,012 pound-feet of torque. Oh my goodness. And they make no sound. No sound. <laughs> okay, how long have you had it for? I bought this one in November of 2021. So since you've owned it, you've driven it for a little while now, mm -hmm. uh, what is your opinion on how they drive and perform, you know, the value, what you get? Uh, even though the, the value of the, the Teslas have kind of decreased over the years, I kind of got lucky. Uh, mine retained its value pretty well. I daily this car, so it's a very good daily driver. I, okay. en I enjoy it. Okay, so as far as performance, quarter mile, zero to 60, well, what does this car do? So the zero to 60 uh, reported on these is 1.9 seconds. In actuality, you'll get about 2.1, 2.2 seconds um, without any any type of prep on street tires. <laughs> That's insane. And have you taken it to a drag strip? I've taken it to one track and I got a 9.2 9 on the quarter. Oh my gosh. And that's just from the factory, that's right? That's factory stock. Wow. Is anything done to it that's not stock? Other than the wrap, no. Okay. Just a wrap and that's it. <laughs> wow. Okay, sweet. So with this whole car, since you've owned it, what have you found to be your favorite thing? Definitely the speed. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely the speed. That makes sense. Uh, it is it is a very quick car it's, it's a roller coaster because you have no sound to it and it, it just takes off on it yeah it just rips up right away it, no wheel spin no none of that like just pure power down to the road yeah so. and these are heavy right like they're very heavy about so what they weigh about wow. the weight of an suv like a fully loaded suv <laughs> yeah that's heavy so you do go through tires quite frequently wow if you had to pick something that's your least favorite about the vehicle what would that be quality control from tesla oh really yeah uh, so when i got Got the car there was a couple of panel gaps uh mm. some small things gaskets and things like that that weren't perfectly aligned some can be a little bit annoying but if you take it to them early enough they'll they'll fix all of that stuff for free oh that's cool so i know these are full of technology can you touch on the interior and the tech that it has the most prominent thing is probably the steering wheel the yoke you don't have a traditional steering wheel that is an option it's a later option again this is the 2021 so it just came stock with the with the yoke steering wheel it takes a little bit of getting used to but <laughs> yeah, for the most part, it's pretty straightforward you just tend to change how you position your hands on it interesting there are okay. no stocks there's no turn signal stocks or anything like that Everything is a tactile button. Oh, wow. Headlights, turn signals, everything is just a tactile button. Even putting it in drive or reverse is slide your finger up on the uh, on the main screen. Crazy. Okay. And did these have like self-driving? They do have self-driving as a as an option. Oh, okay. Uh, this one in particular does not. I just didn't need it. Yeah. I, I want to I control my car. <laughs> yeah, right. So. I know, it'd be scary to have it drive itself. Exactly. The cameras all around, I noticed. Tell me about those. The vehicle uses all of the cameras in order to kind of get a position on where it is there's a couple cameras here here it's like three cameras in the windshield side of the door another camera here backup camera but the car communicates between all of these cameras at the same time to get a gps location of where it is okay so it'll use the cameras it'll use lidar if you have a later model they switched out for radar versus the lidar so that the vehicle can drive itself and not hit a curb or a pedestrian <laughs> wow interesting so if i wanted to buy one of these cars today how much is that going to cost me so right now the 2023s cost about ninety-eight thousand. In 21, when these first came out, they were about 155,000. After taxes, about 170,000. Wow. So the price has dropped quite a bit, but the technology inside of it's also changed quite a bit. So. Okay. Very cool. That seems like a pretty good value for the performance you get. Oh, definitely. You're getting hypercar performance for a fraction of the price. Yeah. Now, is there anything you're gonna do to this in the future? Any modifications, or are you just gonna leave it as is? Well, other than the wrap that I have done to the car, which I did the satin uh, wrap to it, there is a $20,000 upgrade to the vehicle. It comes with tires, brakes 
brakes, rims, but it also unlocks the max speed of 218 miles per hour. Currently oh has a top God. speed of 174. Oh my goodness. It's a DLC. <laughs> so how does that work? Just once once the vehicle recognizes uh, the certain components on the vehicle, it'll automatically unlock that upgrade. So the That's car insane. talks to the tires, it talks to the, uh, the sensors within the rims, and it knows what tires and what rims are on the vehicle at all times. So what? if you put aftermarket on here, it will know that there's aftermarket rims on here. Really? Does that upgrade come from Tesla or is that an aftermarket? Thing? It is a Tesla upgrade. It's from Tesla. Wow. So they'll upgrade the, the brakes to higher caliber uh, Brembos. You'll get drilled and slotted rotors, carbon ceramic brake kit, but it'll also come with a full set of tires and rims that are able to sustain those kind of speeds. Wow, that's nuts. Well, I'm super excited to check it out. Shall we take it on a spin? Yeah, let's go. All right. So usually all the cars I've been riding in, they make crazy sounds. There's loud thousand horsepower cars that This will be the break quietest your ears. thousand horsepower car you've ever been in. <laughs> it's so weird how it can be so quiet, but like so fast, I guess. Yeah, very fast. You ready? <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. That's not even in the plaid mode. <laughs> really? That's just like comfort mode basically. Yeah, pretty much. Wow. But I can get this power like any part in the band. Like, and it's low it's battery. Just, yeah, and it's low battery. Oh, oh my gosh. That's 100 already. Holy crap. Never felt anything like it. <laughs> so the few little launches I did was about 65, 70% power. In its drag strip mode, it'll use about 95% of the power. If I put it into um, track mode, it'll completely give you 100% power. Okay, gotcha. The best part is, is you can get these speeds at any point. Like, you can be going 40. <gasps> oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> inside of my body is like in the back seat now. <laughs> I'll just wait, it gets even better. When we get into full uh, drag mode, the entire screen will, well, actually the car will lower itself into a cheetah stance. Gosh. The rear will raise up to be more aerodynamic for a launch. And then the entire screen will glow into a plaid. Really? You kind of get a little bit of what's called the, the Tesla wobble. It's where the rear end just like squirrels, mm -hmm. but it's just a suspension settling. It's not actually like the rear tires squirming. Okay. This thing stays planted. Yeah. Oh, holy crap. So I'll let it drop down to about 80. I'll just show you it pulls at anything. So here's 80. Oh my gosh. 114. Oh. 130. <laughs> it's like every time you just step on it a little bit. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've never felt anything like that. Wow, it's true what they say about these things. It's zero to 60 in like two, isn't it? 1.9 or something? 1.9. It's 1.9? But you have to have it in like wow. optimal conditions for that. Yeah, prep track basically. No, not really. I can get close to a 1.9 putting it in plaid mode. But the only thing is oh. that, that 1.9 is considering a, a, a one foot runoff. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Even here, 50 miles, 60 miles an hour. <laughs> Oh my gosh, just this is so thing. quick. So for this launch, we'll go on a more secluded area. Yeah, sure. And what it's gonna do is it'll say peak performance ready. At that time, I hit the accelerator on the brake. Oh yeah. The car will lower itself down, it takes about 15 seconds, but I do need to be still for about 15 seconds. Okay. So, so peak performance is ready. Everything's gonna be here, brake. Okay, so it's doing its... Front end, you feel the front end's lowering? Yeah, it's lowering. It's gonna tell me Getting into its cheetah stance. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yep. Oh my gosh! Holy crap! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never experienced anything like that before. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. There we go. Lowering the front. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> Unreal. 
but now that 100 percent well 95 percent of the batteries are like unlocked right now even at 50 miles an hour oh. That's 100. Oh man. We're at 80. <laughs> oh, it's the hardest I've ever gotten thrown in the back of a seat. I, was, I usually tell people like, hold on tight to your phones and stuff. I've had people's phones like whack them in the face. Oh yeah. Hats go flying into the back seat. Yeah, even from 80, it pulls like it does from a launch. Mm -hmm. I like to show yeah. people this. So there's a hundred thousand 18650s. That's these. Hundred thousand of these below us. Really? <laughs> hundred thousand of those? It's a lot of batteries. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> wow. Holy crap. I want to give a huge thanks to Antoine for letting me film his Tesla. Go give him a follow on Instagram at Gabriel Kazoo. And if you like what you just watched, you're definitely going to want to click on this video next.